reminds me again, mom says. So, this is the part 2 of our video lesson about calculating or solving stoichiometry problems. Okay? So, we have here the given problem. The food we ate is degraded or broken down in our bodies to provide energy for growth and function. So, a general overall equation for this complex, for this very complex process represents the degradation of glucose or C6H12O6 to carbon dioxide and water. So, if it... 56 grams of C6 or the glucose is consumed by a person over a certain period, what is the mass of carbon dioxide produced? Okay, so the chemical equation for this problem is H12O6 plus 6O2 yields to 6 carbon dioxide plus 6H2. Okay, so this is the balance equation for this um, problem. So we need to calculate the mass. Okay, the amount of carbon, the amount of um, carbon dioxide produced. So since it's in mass, so therefore grams tayo dyan. Okay? So, this is an example of mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometry problem. Okay? So, this is a mass-to-mass -mass stoic problem. Ayan. So, mass- Okay, bakit? Kasi we have here the given mass and then ang target natin is mass. So, that is mass to mass stoic problem. Okay? So, paano natin to solve ito ngayon? So, we have the given, so grams of glucose to moles of glucose to moles of carbon dioxide and then we can have now the grams of carbon dioxide or the given mass times molar mass times mole ratio times molar mass. Okay, so sa unang molar mass, that is the molar mass of glucose. Then sa pangalawang molar mass, the molar mass of carbon dioxide. Okay, so we can now substitute the given. So ang given natin dyan, mass is 856 grams of glucose. Okay. Ayan. H Ayan. <laughs> times the molar mass. So the molar mass of glucose is 180.156 grams per mole. So we have 1 mole of C6H12O6 O6 or the glucose over 180.156 grams C6H12O6 times okay, mole ratio of ayan, mole ratio of glucose and carbon dioxide Okay, so since nasa taas yung mole dito, so ang gagawin natin, nasa baba si mole ng glucose, nasa taas yung mole ni carbon dioxide para makancel natin sila. So we have 6 moles of carbon dioxide over 1 mole of glucose. So after the mole ratio, we multiply it 
to the molar mass of carbon dioxide which is 44.0.1 grams per mole. So, we have here 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide over 1 mole of carbon dioxide. Okay? So, after this, don't forget to cancel the units. So, cancel the units of grams here, the mole of glucose here, and the mole of carbon dioxide. So, you can have the grams of carbon dioxide, which is the mass. Okay? So, if you will calculate this, 856 times 1 over 180.156 times 1 times 6 over 1 times 44.01 over 1. Okay, so the answer here is um, 1254.66 grams carbon dioxide. Diba? Pero since kailangan natin na uh, ang final nating answer is in 3 significant figures. So, ang final answer natin ay naka-scientific notation. Okay? So, ayan. Ayan. Grams of carbon dioxide. So, your final answer here is 1.25 times 10 days to 3 grams of carbon dioxide. Okay? So, that is for sample number 3, which is a mass-to-mass -mass stoic problem. Okay, let's have sample number 4. So, helium is a valuable gas used in industry, low temperature research, deep sea, diving tanks, and balloons. So, how many moles of HE atoms are in 6.46 grams of HE? Okay, so we're talking about the HE atoms. Okay, so... This is mole to ano, mass. Mass to mole. Okay? Kasi we have the given grams here, which is your mass. And then, how many moles? So, this is mass to mole stoic problem. Okay? So, paano natin isasolve ito? Ayan. So, since this is a mass to mole, madali lang siya. Ayan. So, we have here grams of okay, H2 ah, HE Sorry, sorry. It's HE. Ayan. Grams of HE Two moles of HE or helium. Okay, so given mass para makuha natin yung mole of HE multiply it to the molar mass of HE. Gaya lang sa kasimple. Okay, so kung ikakalculate natin yan, so you can have 6.5 46 grams of HE times the molar mass of HE which is 4 so we have here 1 mole of HE over 4.00 grams of HE so don't forget to cancel the unit ayan so cancel cancel natira is the mole ayan so the final answer here is 1.62 mole of HE. Okay, so ganyan lang isolve ang mass to mole stoic problem. So, you have there the given grams of helium, tapos multiply mo lang siya dun sa molar mass ng helium, which is 4.00 grams. Okay? So, that's all. Thank you for listening. I hope may natutunan kayo. God bless us all.